everyone, so today I have another story for you and this story is all about how to find Egyptian treasure. Now I absolutely love ancient Egypt. I've got lots of ancient Egyptian things in my house. Um, like these sphinxes. Now year three and year four have been learning all about ancient Egypt and in oak class and apple class we've been learning all about dinosaurs. Now you may be wondering, Miss Soul, how do these relate at all? Well in oak class we have been reading the book How to Grow a Dinosaur which follows the story of a little boy called Alby and Alby likes to go on lots and lots of different adventures and in this story which Mrs Searle is about to read you Albie goes on a new adventure this time nothing to do with dinosaurs nothing to do with aliens this time it's all about how to find Egyptian treasure so I'm going to sit here with my Egyptian cats and find out what Albie gets up to on this tale of ancient Egyptian treasure hunting. Hi St Matthews, it's Mrs Searle here. Now I've chosen how to find Egyptian treasure because in year three and four we've been learning all about the ancient Egyptians and we hadn't got around to reading this book so I've not read this book before so I'm looking forward to it. So how to find Egyptian treasure by Carl Hart. It's boiling hot outside. I'm having fun digging in the sand pit. I'm just building a big sandcastle when... Albie! It's Mum. Lunch is ready, she says. Are you nearly finished? Almost, I say. But I don't hear what Mum says next because... A ferocious wind begins to blow. It whips up the sand into a terrible tornado. Help! Suddenly someone pulls me into a doorway. Great, says a boy. You're just in time. My name's Tootie and I'm very important, he says. One day I'll be a pharaoh like my dad, but right now I'm going exploring. Here, he hands me his headdress. Put this on and pretend to be me. What? Wait, I gasp. But Tootie has gone. Just then, a guard grabs my shoulder. Time for your speech, your highness, she says. Yikes. On the balcony is a girl. Who are you, she hisses. And where's my brother? Quickly I tell her about Tutti. I bet he's gone to the catacombs, she explains. Dad says our great great granddad's precious treasure is hidden there. Tutti wants to find it, but we have to stop him. Why, it sounds exciting, I say. Some dangerous thieves are looking for the treasure too, says the girl, whose name is Anka. We've got to find Tootie before they do. Hurry! We run out of the palace, through an alleyway and over the sand dunes. To a gigantic sphinx. Oh no! I think Tootie's already gone in, says Anka. Gone in, I ask? Where? Anka pulls at the corner of a stone and a hidden door grinds open. We tiptoe into the darkness and down a long tunnel. Got you! It's Tootie. Ha <laughs> ha! Scared you! He chuckles. Tootie cries Anka. We've got to get out of here. Do we have to? moans Tootie. Treasure hunting is fun. But as we turn to leave, footsteps echo down the tunnel behind us. Uh oh! We scuttle through the darkness until we reach a huge room. Quick, I say, in here. We dive into a chest and huddle together. Outside, the footsteps get closer. I know you're in here, growls a voice. Come on out. I try not to move, but the dust is tickling my nose. Then, uh, 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 choo! <coughs> the bottom of the chest falls away and we shoot down a slippery slope. Whoa! tumble down a pile of rocks ah, and land in a clattering heap. Oof! But when we look up, wow, breathes Anka, our great great granddad's lost treasure. Dad will be so pleased. Hooray! There's just one little problem, says Tootie. How are we going to get home? Someone got the treasure in, I say, then we must be able to get out. I spot a golden sarcophagus in the corner. Perhaps this guy can help. 
I laugh. I pretend to shake his hand and rumble, rumble, rumble. The sarcophagus begins to open. Oh no, cries Tooty. The ghost of King Ra is coming to get us. Wait here, says Anka. She disappears inside and the lid bangs shut. Anka, no, Tooty wails. Nothing happens for a long time. And then, boo, ha <laughs> ha, scared you, laughs Anka. But Tooty, look, I say, Anka's found the way out. Back at the palace, a delicious smell fills the air. Lunchtime, great, cries Tooty. I'm starving. I give my new friends a hug. I'd better go, I say. I think my lunch is ready too. Thanks for helping us, says Anka. We'll tell our dad where the treasure is so he can keep it safe forever. Well done, Tooty, I say. You'll make a great pharaoh one day. Uh oh. Thank you for listening, St Matthews. Hope you're staying safe. See you soon. Bye. So there we have it. What a really good story. And it seems like Albie is about to go on another adventure. So if you did enjoy this book, I can definitely pop back to school and see if I can find any other Albie adventure books. Now I have a little challenge for you. If you had broken in to a pyramid and you found a treasure chest, what would you like to find in it when you opened it up? Would you like it to be like a pirate treasure full of gems and maybe gold coins? Or perhaps you'd want to open it up and find a whole treasure chest full of Lego or sweeties? or toys. If it was me, I'd like to open up and find a whole treasure chest full of puppies and kittens. Oh, that would be my favourite thing to find. So I would love it if you would write your own story about breaking into an Egyptian pyramid and finding a treasure chest. And when you open it up, what do you find inside? And of course you could draw pictures of whatever treasure you found and write lots of lovely adjectives as to how to describe it. I cannot wait to find out what you would want to find if you were looking for some treasure. So a big thank you to Mrs. Sell for reading us that story. It was amazing. I absolutely love all of Albie's tales. And if you do have any questions or comments for me or Mrs. Sell, please do leave them down below and I will make sure I get back to you as quick as I possibly can. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you really soon. Bye.